Welcome back, everybody. It is opening day here in Pennsylvania. And I'm set up right in the corner of my buddy's pasture. There's been a few longbeards that have been coming out through here with some hens. I got an avian X Jake decoy set up right here with a hen. I got a few cameras out. I've got a camera set on video mode, trail camera, GoPro set up on it. We got a little bit of rain moving in later this morning, so we're going to set up in the blind and try to stay dry. I haven't heard any turkeys gobbling one yet, but it's still pretty early. We're going to get settled in over here. Well, I can hear a couple birds just hammering over on the other side of the road over here up on the hill. <coughs> year after year, there is just birds on that hillside over there. It's amazing. There's something that's very attractive to turkeys on that hill over there, but I don't think I've heard any on my side of the road. Uh, like I said, when I set those decoys up, there's been two longbeards out here later on in the mornings. I think it's going to be kind of a waiting game this morning. We're just going to kind of wait them out. And with it being overcast and raining on and off, they're going to be out in these fields. So we'll just sit tight and be patient. And we'll call here and then and see if we can't coax something up over the hill into, into uh, within sight of these decoys. Well, there's the first two shots of the Pennsylvania turkey season. Well, I'll give you guys a little update. I heard quite a bit of shooting and two shots came from pretty darn close. I think they're right over the hill from me, so it might have been the same two turkeys that were coming here, I don't know. We'll sit tight and see what happens.
answer about five minutes ago, right to my right here. And the crows are going nuts over there, so. That's a good sign. Nine fifty seven. So I shot that bird at like nine fifty six, nine fifty five. It's been a few minutes, but 
So the dominant bird didn't have much of a beard, but I think he's got some pretty good hooks on him. The other bird had a longer beard, but was not the dominant one. So I was trying to decide which one to shoot. And I'm like, oh, I'm going to shoot the strutter. So I let him have it. That Jake decoys did in a lot of big, a lot of big old ponds. That uh, other gobbler that was with it just gobbled right here behind me in the ravine after he just walked off the field and he's now he's gobbling already. What a goofball! But I didn't dress warm enough. <laughs> I'm freezing. It's like 45 degrees. Let's go out and grab this bird before it starts raining. There's rain on the way. This old bird came in here and he thought uh, he wasn't having this Jake decoy sitting over this hen. And I waited and waited. I thought he was going to kind of attack the decoy, but he really didn't attack it. He just kind of stood there strutting for it. And I let him put on a show for a while and then decided it was time to take him out. I really messed up his neck. Holy cow. He's got a... Not a very thick beard, but... Nice beard, nonetheless. Got some, some decent spurs here. Nice, nice Pennsylvania gobbler. That was pretty awesome. Boy, I had to be really patient this morning. I was nervous that, that these birds got shot this morning. I heard a gunshot right where these were coming from, or right where I knew they were roosting. And uh, must be that was a different turkey. These ones made it. Well, I'm hoping I had this trail camera set on video mode, so I'm hoping that we got the kill shot on the trail camera. That'd be pretty cool. I had a GoPro set up that was recording right here too, but I think the turkey was actually behind it. Uh, I had it pointed this way toward that hen, so I don't know. But either way, it was an exciting morning. I uh, really had to wait them out, but it was worth it in the end. Uh, I'm going to go over some of the gear with you when I get back to the house. I'm going to go show this to my nieces and nephews. And Whenever you have fresh blood on the Jake decoy, that's a pretty good sign for a uh, good morning. It's a beautiful big turkey, man pretty heavy turkey and they ran right for the decoy oh really yep two big long beards i shot the dominant bird the dominant bird didn't have much of a beard really yeah i didn't really see one in your picture but i didn't know if it was because the angle or not no it was uh they're the same two turkeys i'd been seeing up there and i knew that the, the dominant bird didn't have a long beard but uh, mm -hmm. I don't, I want to shoot the dominant bird. I don't like sh shooting, uh, you know, the other one was just kind of standing there. I don't know. I wanted to shoot the one that was putting on a show. Yeah. So that's what I did. So what time are you heading out? Around 11.30, in about an hour. Do you want me to uh, stop and pick you up before? It's got 861 on it, um, 740 is left for the order. Okay, how about one of those? <laughs> <laughs> My Timmy Ho Ho's card is officially up. Perfect, thank you, you, you too. All right, babe. Well, I'm going to get dropped out of the shower, so I'll see you whenever you get here. Hey, send me a selfie. No, what? Anybody home? <laughs> Guess what I got? I, I got donuts and I got a turkey. I figured it'd be over. Get the ice off. I got a turkey. Different. Yeah. Yeah, one. Hey Lily, what's a turkey say? Uh, gobble, 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 gobble. Yeah. <laughs> Can you do it? Mm, 
Gobble, gobble. Gobble, gobble, gobble. Say, gobble, gobble. I can't do that. <laughs> there you go. That's a good gobble. It's the baby gobble. The baby gobble, yep. Whoa! Look at the head on that thing. Lily, look at the snood on him. You know that's called the snood? Yeah. You want say snood? Feel it. No. You don't want to feel it? You want to feel it, Lily? No. What about you, Levi? No. You don't? It's kind of fun to play with. It's it's like a worm. <laughs> <laughs> it, like look a, how far out it goes. I think it's like a snake. <laughs> Look at his neck. Isn't that weird? What do you think of that, Lily? I think it's... Ew! <laughs> Is that gross? What's this? Um, Is that the beard? Is that the beard? Yeah, it's the beard. What do you think of that? Ew! <laughs> <laughs> well, what did that turkey do? Oh, that, that that's one the turkey, turkey that got this turkey killed. What? Huh? That turkey? You guys. Well, what did that turkey Here. You want, you want a feather? No. I don't feel it. Isn't that cool? Ooh, that's take soft. Yeah. You want to take it? it? I'll take it. Oh, thank you. I'll make you a pen for right now. One of those do you want one, Lily? No. How about you, Levi? Do you want a big feather or a little feather? Little. A little one? <laughs> what do you think? Oh, that's cool. I think he's two or three foot. Two, I would say. Probably. Two year old, yeah. Don't that. No. Impressive. It's a big turkey, though. Big body, body turkey, yeah. I don't know how so many BBs hit so low on them. Unless I. It's so soft. I mean, there's holes all over it. What do you think? Pretty cool. Yep. Yeah. Is that yucky? Wait it a minute. When, when you shot it and you looked at it, did it smell stinky? No. It smells tasty. It smells like a butterball to me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at you. Very nice. I got you a donut. Thank you cream filled one because I know that's what you like <laughs> you look so nice thank you for everybody that's unaware she is going to a Luke Combs concert tonight and she is excited about it mm -hmm. I'm a turkey slayer I know. let's go ahead and weigh this turkey up and see what we got here. We're zeroed out. Actually, this thing's backward. We need it in pounds. Wow, that's a big, I don't know if you can, oh yeah, you can see it. 21 and a half pounds. That is a big turkey. Twenty one and a half pounds. That is a big, big fat turkey. That's going to be some good eating. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. I want to thank everybody for watching. And I wanted to uh, mention some of these discount codes that I have uh, through the channel. So, obviously, on Tidewee's website, I've got some awesome discounts for you guys. And what people don't realize is those discounts still work on top of, you know, sales that are on the website. So if something on Tidewee like a ground blind is 30 or 40% off, you can get an additional 20% off on top of that. So you can get you can get stuff for like dirt cheap on Tidewee's website. So I, I'd recommend going and checking stuff out on there and seeing what type of deal you can get. Uh, the other discount code that I have is for Cluck Custom Calls. It's KEO10. It'll get you 10% off those mouth calls. 
They're honestly some of the best mouth calls I've ever used in my life. It's a veteran owned and operated company out of uh, Pennsylvania. And I've got nothing but good things to say, say about them. My favorite calls are the V-Cut series, the Chatty Cathy, the Finishing Touch, the Death Blow, and Game Over. And Game Over is what I was using this morning a lot. I switched them up a little bit, but the Game Over call was, was what I really liked, a little bit of rasp to it. And uh, obviously, I got that bird to answer at like 9.30, 9.50, he was flopping in the decoys. So I appreciate everybody watching. Uh, stay tuned. This is just the start of the turkey season. Lots of turkey hunting videos to come. Have a good one and hope that you're having a lot of luck out there.